getting bored onto a plane and fly it straight into a black hole somewhere out of outer space, girl. my channel I am so excited for today's video I'm going to be doing a productive college day in the life vlog it is currently my second week of school and I've already started off my day on such a good note you guys small tiny hints of it this morning but I actually took the time to do my makeup put on a cute outfit and do my hair and that always just elevates the mood so much let me see if I can set you guys down actually Okay, here, let's start the video right here, actually, because my hands are just so shaky in the morning because I haven't had, like, a, like, hearty meal yet. I just had, like, a light breakfast, but I'm very excited for today. Today, I have spin instructing this evening. I have my friends coming over. We're doing, like, a wine and pasta night, which is going to be so, so, so fun, and during the day today, I'm doing tons of social media work, so I'm going to kind of bring you guys um, behind the scenes of being a social media influencer or, like, working in that field and being in college at the same time, which I think will be really fun because I I also have two classes today that I need to leave for in like 40 minutes ish but before we get too far into the video I want to thank today's sponsor let me get the package to show you guys but we are going to elevate our nails this morning and literally guys I feel like I've just been going and going and going and I saw this quote recently which was like you're not living just to stay alive like enjoy where you're at like romanticize where you're at and so for me that's like not putting self-care aside and so like last night i took the time to self-tan and this morning you guys saw i washed my self-tan off that's why like i went in the shower but my hair never was wet um and i took the time to put on a key outfit today and i want to start having my nails done if you guys are not new here you know my nails pretty much always look like this it's just not the vibe and that's because i truly do not have time to go to a nail salon to get my nails done like out of all the things to like squeeze into my schedule that's just one that's not going to happen but with today's sponsor we can do our nails at home so i'm gonna go grab the package i'm very excited <laughs> So, thank you Danny and Tony for sponsoring today's video. I'm so excited. I got this fun package in the mail. There's confetti in it. And we have two different nail kits to pick from. So these are glaze gel nails and I am just so excited to feel more put together. I feel like literally just like taking care of those little things with yourself makes you feel so much more confident and I'm so glad I have time to do this for myself this morning. I'm going to give you guys a few little fun facts about these and then we're going to put them on together. I don't think I've had my nails done since it's probably been at least six months. So this is going to be really exciting and these are going to be a lot better for me because aside from the fact that I don't go and get my nails done, which you guys know in these videos, I, which you guys already know if you guys have watched my vlogs, I also am a horrific nail painter. Like it's just so messy. I'm not an artist in that sense. So these are going to be great for me. So really quick, I'm going to read off of this just to make sure I get 100% accurate, but I have a few fun things I want to share with you guys because Danny and Tony is the best and they're the best for wanting to work with me. So first of all, we are celebrating Valentine's Day in this house early. So both of these kits, I'll show you guys. You can kind of see on the back what kit after you pick it out, like when you get it in the mail. The colors we're working with, very Valentine's Day. I personally love nothing more than a good Valentine's Day nail. It's my favorite holiday because I love pinks and reds together. I'm literally wearing pink pants right now, so I'll show you guys. I'll show you guys my outfit for class, but love that for us. All right, also these are non-toxic, kid and pet friendly, and they're high tech, which is the best because you guys know I care more about my cat than anything, so I really want to have products in my house as the best I can that are not pet toxic. So also just a third thing, these are easy to apply salon quality at home manicures, 100% real gel made, semi cured, soft, stretchy, non sticky, no residue, long lasting up to 14 days salon quality. So I wanted to read that just so you guys really got the gesture because sometimes I trip over my words as you guys know and I want to get these right because I feel like you guys are going to love these. These are going to be also I feel like a lot of you guys are college kids or high school kids or whoever you're watching this video, honestly, now that I think about it, I think any stage of life is kind of chaotic and so busy. So I'm going to put some TV on or maybe like a little fun movie because I still have 40 minutes before I need to leave for class and have myself like a little spa morning. I haven't decided which kit I want to do. I'm kind of thinking the Boldly Me set. I got Boldly Me and Velvet Sparkle if you guys are shopping and you want to have matching twinsy nails because I'm sure I'll use both of these eventually. But I think today I want to do the boldly me set i think the little polka dots will fun like look with this top i love like clashing patterns that's a weird little like thing i'm into right now so i think polka dots with this like um whatever you call this also random side note i hate that the zipper of these pants are white because it always is like i don't know it just you can always see it but it's fine so let's have ourselves a little salon session and then we'll get ready for class do my outfit of the day and get the day going as always but what a fun way to start the day 
All right, I'm gonna watch some Aspen and Parker while I do my nails. What a morning, guys. We are living the life. Right on time, we fell right into each other. Couldn't pull myself away, and I know love is blind. So reputation didn't matter. It doesn't matter, does it, babe? But I've always got this feeling in the back of my mind that you'll find someone else and then you'll Before I met you, so scared you break my heart I've never been the girl who is paranoid Got feelings that I can't avoid Don't know where I got them I guess that's why they call them trust issues Daytime. my little salon session with myself is done i decided to use all the white and black polka dots i didn't decide to do red for today's look there's so many nails so i can't wait to do my nails again soon but let me just set you guys down for a second because i want to talk about how incredible this experience was and i need to put my shoes on and leave for class in a second i typically hate doing my nails i literally dread it so much like i said i'm just not good at it which in return makes me not enjoy it but i had so much fun doing these it was so simple it wasn't like life or death if you made a mistake like it was so fixable the only stuff i didn't show you guys is you cure them when you're done i think it was for 60 seconds i'll put on the screen what it actually is um but i was starting to rush to get them done because as a college student even doing these i have to rush and i have to head to class right away so again imagine i would not have time to actually go somewhere but doing these at home with danny and tony was perfect let me show you guys i'm up close again i think i haven't been this obsessed with my nails ever i think they look so fun i love these contrasting patterns i think it's such a vibe oh, i'm so happy they look so good. So, yes, I'm gonna throw shoes on and give you guys outfit of the day for class, but it's really brought together by these nails. Be sure to check out the information on Danny Tony down below. Thanks again to them so much for sponsoring, and you guys are gonna wanna check them out. I literally am working with them today, and after putting these on, I'm like, I'm gonna start ordering from them because I just feel so much more confident with my hands looking pretty. Like, this is the moment. Okay, still just freaking out about my nails, so I'm gonna do so many up close shots. If you guys notice me showing way more hand shots in the next few vlogs, it's because I'm actually confident in my nails for once. But I'm gonna wear my platform Converse today. They're kind of messy, but I think they look cute with this outfit. So let's put these on. Okay, super quick little fit of the day for class. I don't know why the lighting is looking super yellow right now. I think it's just because of the time of day that I'm showing you guys this. But how cute is this top with the puff sleeves from Sheen? I love it. Just tucked in. I think it's a very cute looking vibe. Again, with my nails, my rings are all Anna Luisa or James Avery. And then I'm wearing these pink jeans from Amazon. I'll link them in my Amazon storefront down below. I like tons of like fun outfit stuff there. But these are my favorite pants ever. They are so cute. Yeah. And then I'm wearing those Converse like I showed you. I'm going to throw on a coat and my backpack. I need to head to class. My class starts in like 25 minutes and I walk there. So I'm going to listen to some bops. I've been listening to the playlist I made for spin instructing when I walk to class and it makes the vibes so macchia. I'm like, get into it. Yeah. Like so excited for class all of a sudden, even though when I get there, I'm like, well, how was I feeling this happy about class? But yes, this is the fit. Feeling super happy, cute, and confident. Reminder that you guys are cute and should be confident. So yeah, let's head to school. Um, let's ignore the fact there's five bajillion boxes here. But you know, I think this vlog might do a good job of showing you guys how I balance it all because it's a lot, but we're excited about all the things. So I have comm class today and family comm. So family comm is my favorite class. So it's a good day. Cause I never, never had them before I met you So scared you break my heart I've never been a girl who is paranoid Got feelings that I can't avoid Don't know where I got them I guess that's why they call them trust issues guys so checking back in i just got home from class i walk home as you guys know class was actually really good today i really enjoyed both of them i love my what day is today 
Thursday, Tuesday, Thursday classes. I have family comm, which today we talked about like a future project, but it was actually helpful because someone came and talked to the class from the career center about like getting the job after college and how to go about that and how to use like Mizzou's resources to help prepare yourself for that, which I thought was really great. And then I have my family comm class, which I always love because you always get into like deep discussions in there. And it's like the one class that I like don't want to end. I love being there and I love what we learn about so much. I really just like love the teacher at the end of the day. I think that she is so helpful with like creating um, open minded like educated individuals if that makes sense um but i'm gonna make lunch i get home from class on this day at 2 p.m so i'm very hungry i've literally had coffee and i didn't show you guys because or actually no i did show you guys i had a pop tart this morning i was gonna say it wasn't very aesthetic but i was craving sweet food um so that's what had to happen but still obsessing over my nails i love taking notes in class today because my danny tony nails I just felt so powerful. I was like, yeah, who's that girl? Who's that girl? But I'm going to have lunch. I'm going to have what, okay. If you guys are not new here, you know about my food phases, but I go through food phases where like I eat the same thing. Honestly, like every day, it's just comfort to me. And what I'm having for dinner every day, I'm gonna have for lunch and then having my friend over pasta dinner. So also, if you don't know that I'm in like the biggest Shirley Temple phase ever, I bought this grenadine. Um, not even two weeks ago and it's almost gone. I went to the store yesterday and got a new thing of grenadine. If you didn't know, I make my Shirley Temples just with grenadine and Sprite and then sometimes lime, but depends on the vibe. So I'm going to heat up my lunch, pour my drink, probably reply to emails and do some homework while I eat just to like multitask because I have to leave to teach spin at like 5.30 and I need to get everything done before that since I am having my friend over tonight. Okay, you guys, so time for a little update. I'm gonna shoot some pictures in my apartment, I think, because why not take advantage of the space that I'm already in? I need to clean up my apartment. Let's all just ignore that. Okay, so the other day, I took an Instagram picture over here, like in this corner, which granted is a really cute corner, but it made me think about the fact like I have not taken that many Instagram pictures in this space, and I love how I've decorated it, and I don't have it for forever. I only have it for a few more months. So I wanna try to get cute pictures in like all the spaces, because why not? So, um, can decide if I wanna do this outfit in front of my bed, or if I want to move my desk and use this cloud thing as a backdrop, I kind of want to do that even though it's kind of a lot of work. Also, these trash bags aren't trash. They're clothes I need to donate. I just haven't had my car to do so. So, yes. Let's have a little time lapse of me doing a bunch of outfit pictures just in my apartment. I could do some downtown, which I might go do like one or two. But also, like, it's cozy and it's warm in here. guys so update time i got pictures in this outfit the lighting in here was kind of hard to work with since i was shooting like against the windows but i'm hoping when i edit it it will be like what i want it to be i also got my nail pictures i think i got good ones i kind of want them to just look like natural and like chill vibes but i do want to get a picture to post on instagram to share about becoming a spin instructor because i keep like teasing it over there and i just kind of wanted to make like an official post about it and make like an inspirational post about it because that's been something i've been really proud of myself for and i haven't talked about it a lot yet i'll probably maybe i'll debrief it in this vlog maybe i'll talk more about it in another one but i've been working really really hard towards that so i definitely want to do an instagram like life update explaining that so i think i want to put on my like work attire which is my all black workout clothes so i'm going to change into that because then i can just stay in it Probably in this, I don't know, I might put chill clothes on in between, but I have to leave for cycling in like two hours anyways. So I think I'm going to do my picture for spin um, against this backdrop, probably, because I don't, I might go outside. I'm going to see how the lighting works in here, but the lighting is kind of better over here against this wall. So we'll see. This might be the good picture, and then I might go ahead and post it today to like... I don't know. We'll see. I'll keep you guys updated. Update time. You guys saw I took all of my pictures of her Instagram. I'm really happy with them. I got my nail ones. I got my outfit ones. I might have to, we'll see how the ones with the pink pants do. I might have to reshoot them on a sunnier day or I might just be able to edit them. We'll see. But I also changed into my work outfit, which is just these leggings from Halara. This is from Target or Old Navy, I think. It's just a plain tank top because we have to wear all black for work. But I got my mirror. I just decided to do mirror pictures because it was, like, more chill. And I thought it made more sense because I was, like, it only makes sense to be, like, posed in my bedroom for, like, a spin instructing picture. Because I was, like, making a post sharing my journey and everything with that. And finally, like, putting it on Instagram that I am spin teaching spin this semester. So 
yeah i just did my pictures over there in that mirror which worked out great but now i have like an hour and a half till i need to go and i actually like stayed on top of my time schedule so that's good really quick i need to do a little bit more work a little bit of my social media work and then i have to do homework because i don't want to have to do it tonight with my friends over but um let me actually get scissors a super sweet girl that i used to work with on magazine when i went to Ole miss actually started a little company and um she asked if I would like want to unbox some stuff on Instagram and she sent me a little like surprise package. So I was like, oh my gosh, of course, I would love to support you. Like we're literally on staff together, which is so cool. So I'm just going to take a quick like mini haul on my Instagram story, which my Instagram will be here. I'm always doing fun stuff over there. I'm really excited. Also follow that because my pictures from my house I thought were like very just like real life looking and fun instead of trying to make everything so like picture perfect blogger life. <laughs> I'm so excited. Okay. Got this cute little jacket. Isn't this adorable? So I'm gonna put this on my Instagram stories. This looks so warm. I'm about to wear this literally to work tonight. And I've wanted a jacket like this. I've been seeing these everywhere. So we love supporting a um, small business, female owned of a fellow um, college gal who used to work on a magazine with me. So I'm gonna do my stories. I'll put you guys up so you guys can kind of see what doing those looks like because I usually have to shoot them more than once. Like, let's keep things real here. And then I'm gonna sit down and grind out Spanish homework because I think I have like two hours of it. So I don't really know how that's gonna work, but you know, it is what it is. We're trying our best. Ooh, one more quick like behind the scenes of like working on social media and being a college student. Whenever I go to my classes, I usually get there like 10 minutes early because I'm someone who doesn't like to be late, but don't get it twisted. I take full advantage of that time. I always take that 10 minutes before class to reply to as many business emails as I can. And so I actually got all my business emails done in between classes up on campus today, which was perfect. So, okay, I'm gonna shoot this Instagram story so I can give this girl that is so sweet some fun promo because this is so fun. Okay guys, how cute is this jacket? I finished shooting the stories. I did way more for Instagram today than I usually do, but I'm trying to take up my Instagram day game this year. I can't speak right now. So I'm trying to make sure that I'm like keeping my stories refreshed and keeping my posts up to date and like doing reels all the time. Stormy's over here ruining my future Instagram outfits. So rude, but I'm gonna sit down and maybe have a terrible time. <laughs> Just be honest, I'm gonna do Spanish though and grind that out. If anybody else has ever had to do VHL for a language class, you know that this is simply pain. Update, I decided I needed a second glass of coffee for the day, so I just made my little caramelized coffee. I'm actually gonna have these cups coming back to my small business soon, so I get excited for that, but I just used this fun little blue straw. The vibes are a little better now, I'm a little more excited to do homework, and also, I just have to keep flashing y'all my nails. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna get to work before I run out of time. Okay guys, so update time. I am about to leave for a spin. I finished up some of my Spanish. I have like 30 minutes of it left, but I can do it really quick when I get home. I also started my dishwasher skin here in the back. I just put my name tag on. Luckily, I was already dressed. I put my hair in a ponytail. I'm going to wear that jacket I did a haul in my story of, and I always have like my little mic piece in my bag, my spin card. I'm gonna throw in a water bottle and go to class. All right, y'all, I am back from spin. It was so good. I wanna set you guys down super quick. Um, I have to kind of hurry because my friend's coming over soon. But I wanted to update you guys on how class was. So I have a different mentor Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. And I love my Thursday. This is my first time having her actually. And I was really excited because I did bike set up and warm up today. My warm up is here. I'll kind of show you guys actually what I do for my warm up. And then I play my music, which is so fun. I feel like a little DJ. It's literally like the best part of teaching and spin is the music. Um, let me find it warm up moment I do I guess I don't have notes for bike setup but I do that part and then warm up and it's super good and super fun and if you guys want to check out my Spotify I'm gonna figure out how to make a um, public playlist that like you guys can add to that way one of your Mizzou student 
you can put music on the playlist I use or two like if you just like spin or have like fun ideas for me and you want to add it to my um, playlist I think it'd be really fun so um, you guys can see my pony is a low pony now because whipping my ponytail around at class but it always just puts me in such a good mood the mentors are all so nice which makes the process like building the confidence and learning like so so much better so yeah stormy's wanting some love but i'm gonna hop in the shower um and quick slightly clean up before bailey gets here and then we're having a wine and pasta which is pretty much all i could ask for right now baby sounds so good also nails made me feel like a boss at spin don't get it twisted baby shampoo and come and save me i've been missing lady look ever since she started hating i've been waking up to